What's up guys, welcome to another video. I'm Matt, aka Say No to Fast Travel, and today I'm just going to be quickly running you through the highlights of the patch notes that we received today, that's February 25th, 2020, on this mid-season, season 2 update. It includes a new map, a whole bunch of new modes, and some other things, but the full patch notes will be available on my blog, so that will be linked down below. Let's have a look, shall we? Cool, so right off the bat, I can see that we've had updated images here on the homepage. So we've got a new image cut and price of the campaign. Uh, it's a bunch of the operators by the looks of things. So multiplayer, classified, there's still no image, but it does seem to say transmission incoming right behind the words. So maybe that adds fuel to the fire that they will be indeed be coming on March 10th, but we don't know yet. Let's wait and see. Fingers crossed though. Uh, Co-op, yeah, we've got new image again of multiple operators, including my boy Ghost. And store, we've got uh, another new image which shows boxes of the packs you can buy in the store. Uh, so let's jump into multiplayer. Um, we have had a few things today. New modes, straight off the bat, you can see boots on the ground war. And that is an infantry-only ground war. So I'm definitely looking forward to trying that out. It'll be good fun. Um, that seems to have replaced realism ground war. We also have gunfight 3v3 snipers only on rust. That's pretty neato. Uh, dirty old houseboat. There's rust shipment and shoot house in a mosh pit and giant infection. So this is the infection ground war that we heard about earlier that we knew was coming. Uh, I can't wait to try that and I'm probably going to try that out on my stream later on today. Uh, see if there's anything new in here. Doesn't look like it. No, still no demolition. Oh, well. Um, store. Ah, so we've got Mace. Mace is pretty cool. I am definitely going to be picking him up. I already had 7200 cop points. You saw that. Um, there we go. So we've bought Mace. It's also come with the Bludgeoner LMG Blueprint. That does look pretty dope. Um, and the Skull Hammer Shotgun Blueprint. <sighs> Not as cool. And we've got a knife. Skull Blade. That's, that's pretty cool. And a watch. Winding Skull. I, I like that. I'm probably going to use that one. Operator Quip. You call yourself an operator. Alright. And this is his first Oh! Oh, yes, boys. I'm using a mace. Look at that. Very fitting. Um, Executive Armory 4. Probably, yeah. Nothing overly inspiring. MP7 blueprint, Dragonov blueprint, and that looks like an M19. Yeah, M19 blueprint. Okay. Uh, anything else new today? Yeah, we've got Copperhead. So that gives us an MG and an Org blueprint. Nothing special. Debonair, uh, which is just a fancy ass Org. I like the timepiece, but not for 1100 cop points. Bye bye. And that looks like it for the store. Um, right, that'll just be that new stuff I've got. Um, let's actually. Why is it showing me this again? Oh, no longer have to manually select operate emissions. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I can get behind that. This is Mace. Yeah, he looks badass. Metal Phantom. It had to be done. Uh, I'll look at those later. I want to quickly jump into a private game. Game setup. I want to look at the new gunfight map, Bazaar, which was added in. So, have a quick look at that. Uh, box it up. Let's make sure there's none. Perfect. Start match. There we go. Spawn in his mace on Bazaar. So just have a quick run around the map, see what's what. I don't really play gunfight too much, but I'm always interested in looking at new maps. And then that'll be where I leave it for today. 
Um, full list of patch notes and everything I've posted on my blog, saying that a fast travel uh, link to that will be in the description below. So make sure you check that out if you're interested in all the weapon balances and that kind of stuff. Um, doesn't really matter what we pick. Uh, so yeah. Oh, I was curious, but they only seem to put a charm on one of them. Alright, straight off the bat, it looks pretty cool, aesthetically. Uh, have a quick check this way. Alright. Alright, so it's pretty pretty simple. Pretty small even for a gunfight map, but it does seem pretty open, uh, which I kind of like. At the same time, I kind of don't. I like this rubble as the stairs. Um, this definitely looks like it's inspired by campaign, uh, more specifically the missions where you play with Farah. Um, doesn't look like you can get in the downstairs areas here. So you've got, you know, these where you can. Oops, I'm still on wrong setup. So you've got these where you can look down and get lines of sights. Uh, obviously, you can pop up top and then. You know, peek or run straight through to their side. Uh, so yeah, it's a pretty cool map. I like the the fact you're indoors but outdoors at the same time. Um, no, you can't climb up those, but you can probably. Yeah, I thought so. Get in through there. Right. Well, this is bizarre. It's very small. Bizarre, bizarre. Uh, yeah, it's a gunfight map. Not much else to really look at there. Um, the other new modes I will be trying out on stream, so if you are interested in seeing what those are like, drop by my Twitch channel. It's Say No to Fast Travel over on Twitch. Um, I'll actually be streaming tonight um, and again tomorrow and then Friday and Saturday as well. But, yeah. Right, guys. So that's just a quick run through of everything. Um, we had Mace. We had Bazaar. Pardon me some other packs and a whole bunch of other stuff um like i said i will be trying out those new game modes on stream tonight tomorrow and probably the weekend if they're any good uh i do stream every tuesday wednesday friday and saturday and that's over on twitch under say no to fast travel make sure you pop on over and say hi uh but yeah please leave a comment down below on what you think of bazaar and mace and a whole bunch of other things drop a like if you find this helpful or if you you know, just want to support me. Much appreciated. Uh, but until then, guys, stay safe.